be the last one. So for our last topic about social relationships. In this episode, today, we will be talking about work relationships. Okay, Michael, you've been working with the same teacher for three years, right? Yes. I've offered to have you work in another class every single year and you say... No. Do you think that your autism has contributed to being unwilling to change? Actually, yes. It's called being inflexible. Hmm. That's a word I learned. Here's how it goes. The first year that I came here, you know, when I first got to this program, I have worked with that teacher that one whole year. And her first batch of adorables that she had, they became my precious ones. I went through a lot with them. There were some conflicts where I had some trouble with this. But I learned. The teachers helped me. But I have to let you know, during my time I had to go to summer school, I wanted to be with them. But I've discovered that I had to get sent to another room. The director told me. But I wasn't happy about it. I was upset. I went a little berserk. I didn't want to. I really wanted to stay with them. That class that I went through a lot in my first year that I was here. I loved them. I want to be with that teacher again. I want to be with that first batch of adorable cells with that whole school year. For my summer school year, I want to be with them. But I can't. They said no. I got upset. I got overboard. I'm sorry. It took me a very long time for me to get over it. That, that new room with the new batch of adorables cheered me up, but I was really unhappy about it. I didn't like it. And the second year, I got to be with her again. The amount of adorables we had was short, but we had a good time together. And I'm with her again, here in the final year. I'm happy I'm with her again before I say goodbye. And things are working out great. When you hear about people having autism at work and being successful, it's hard for you to believe. Why? <laughs> That's the thing. I know some autistic adults can be trouble for grown-ups like us. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. But I found it surprising to discover that Young adults turn into, you know, really good autism adults. I have heard that there are some autistic adults who choose to work by themselves because they have problems with the social environment. They choose to do work by themselves and apparently sometimes they turn into something successful. <laughs> Who would have thought a work they can, that they can do by themselves can turn to something successful and adults like it? <laughs> Ooh, I find I find that really surprising. I guess when you I guess some autism adults who work well at their jobs choose to do some work by themselves, they can become good and successful and others can like them. Okay, Michael. Social skills can be difficult for someone with autism as you just mentioned. Our site is a daycare center, which is a very social environment. Why do you think it worked out being here for you? Because this was somewhere I liked. All of you are correct, even especially hmm, the teachers I know. They are all correct. It appears that um, some autistic people are having a hard time working in a social environment. This here, the child care center, is a social environment. And I did have some trouble here, but I liked it here actually. This is a center full of adorables. I liked adorables. You know, babies and children. I liked it very much. This is somewhere I like. A social environment, but I like it here. And as I already said it, I had trouble here in this social environment place. But the teachers helped me and we worked things out. And I'm happy here now. Okay, Michael, give your final statement now. I will say this for my final statement. I want autistic people to go somewhere where they have to work. Everybody has to work, even autistic people. But, autistic people have to go somewhere, a nice environment, or a work site, or anywhere they have to work. I want to be somewhere where they can be able to work, where they can do the work, where they can cope with the people that is there, interact with them. I don't want it to be a problem, no complex, because that can upset them and they will 
find it hard to work for them. It'll be hard for them to work if they're in an environment like that. That's bad. So, to all you autistic people out there, by the time you have to work, please find somewhere like that where you can be happy. Be happy where you can be working at and be interacting with the people that's around you and there won't be any more problems. Be happy for your future. That's all.